out there in public but to tell us actually what to think and what to experience and that's the main objection to to marijuana by by our government uh, is the effect that it has on consciousness and they don't care uh, that it is a fantastic pain reliever which it is they don't care about its wonderful medical properties they just want to stop anybody experiencing these effects on consciousness and, and no wonder our society is in such a mess where we imagine we live in a democracy and yet elect governments that actually have the nerve to tell us what we may and may not experience inside our own heads without doing any harm to others. There is so much hypocrisy, so much humbug in government positions on these, uh, on, on these matters. Uh, governments know perfectly well uh, that, that, that the rules that they have made, the misery that they inflict on people's lives don't get rid of, 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 of these problems. If we really want to solve the problem of drugs, we need to open up the whole issue to broad public discussion and we have to accept and admit that certain plant products such as these ancient hallucinogens that shamans use are entirely beneficial, entirely beneficial uh, in their interaction with the human race. This is, this is what governments are afraid of. They are afraid of a citizenry that is fully conscious. They actually want us to be unconscious. They want us to, to simply focus on this alert, problem-solving, competitive mentality that makes us good consumers and good competitors in the business place. But they don't want us to explore the majestic and amazing depths of our consciousness because then we just might start asking questions that would be very uncomfortable for the powers that be. 